back in February, we opened a new European office uh, for World Watch Institute. World Watch Institute is a global think tank and it's uh, headquartered in uh, Washington, D.C. I think it went very, very well. So let me see if I can answer some of your questions and, and, and talk more broadly about the cultural transformation we need, not just to, to shift the economy in a way that actually sustains human society for a long time, but in order to prevent a, a, an ecological collapse. Did lots of people coming? The people that came here, they were yeah, learning something uh, new. Important people listening. Yeah, my name is Ivan Vesselbo and I'm a spokesman for environment at the, <coughs> for the Liberal Party. My name is Margrethe Vestager, I'm the leader of the Social Liberal Party here in Denmark. People from the environmental agency. I work here in the European Environment Agency. People from journalists, filmmakers. My name is Jörn Huspan, I'm a management consultant and a filmmaker. People from business. I'm Jonas Engberg, I'm uh, the sustainability manager for IKEA here in Denmark. I think the talk was very interesting. I was very much challenged by your presentation uh, because it's a, it's a very difficult question to get a grip on. Uh, one question that didn't come up is that when our politicians are taking leadership. Because on the list of global crises you can add a global crisis of leadership. We have global problems but we have national decision making. It seems to be a mantra among uh, most politicians today that without growth, economic growth, every year we are kind of doomed. I don't think that economic growth is an ultimate uh, way of the perspective uh, from the future. We, we need growth. Uh, I, I don't think we can get rid of that idea because it's biology. But we need, need to uh, find another way of growing than GDP. We talk about going beyond GDP, but none of us, very few of us, understand what GDP is. So it's rather difficult to discuss going beyond it if we don't know what it is. Eh? Basically, I think we have a problem of prices here, because we don't pay the full price of what things cost. You actually look, if we were all consuming very simply, I mean, we're talking about $2,000 per person uh, per year, uh, we're, we could actually sustain twice the population. So if we had prices with, which actually showed us the price of consumption, then I think, yes, well, then we can have consumerism, <laughs> because then we couldn't afford the things that we're buying today. We need to transform cultures so that it becomes as natural to live sustainably as living as consumers feels today. If you want more on the World Watch Institute Europe, I should also mention that we have a newsletter and we have a, a website um, that you can go visit.